Hello everybody, welcome to a beautiful, beautiful day and another world famous coffee review from Hillbilly Select Reviews and before, oh nice breeze, that feels good. Before we get started today, I ask that you subscribe and please check out my playlist. Um, I'm known the YouTube over for having the most comprehensive playlist there are. You will find something you like on that playlist. Now, enough said. Thank you for subscribing ahead of time. Okay, what do we got? Michigan Cherry. Whole bean coffee from Meyer. 100% Arabica coffee. All right. Um, it's a light roast. It's Michigan flavored. Of course, Meyer is headquartered in Michigan. I love this coffee. I have done this coffee in the decaf. It's in the playlist attached to this under coffee. Actually, it's under decaf coffee. It's even easier to, to narrow it down. Um, what I like to do, I always do, is here's the beans. I'll show you the beans. Let's see if you can see the beans. Yeah. See, they're kind of look medium roast. It says light roast. But anyway, always eat them. Good. Very good. And it'll tell you how the coffee's gonna be if you've done it enough times. Now, I made this coffee in a French press. Before we get done with that, the smell on this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And when I drink it, it doesn't taste like candy or artificial cherry. And that's what I like about it. But it's very, um, you know, the cherry presence is very prominent. Certainly in the smell. And now, yeah, let's see what we got. And by the way, I've got some uh, coffee drinks I'm gonna be making with this, this cherry. Um, they're special. Some of them are iced, frappuccinos, and the recipes I have, and I'm making them up. And they're unbelievably delicious. Why so I made them up, what do you mean? They'll be one of a kind, okay? This is gonna be fantastic. It really is. So. Beautiful cherry, beautiful cherry smell. Now, I already told you I enjoy this. I've drank, I've drank a few bags of this. Uh, I've never done a review on it other than I've done the decaf. Now I'm gonna get to the cherry before I drink it all. Oh, it's a two pound bag, I'm looking here. Best Buy date on it. Well within the Best Buy, but they do put that on there for you so you know coffee's nice and fresh. Of course, I grind it right before I use it as well. Ah, it's so good. It's got that medium, I won't even say mild, but not heavy, but a medium sherry flavor with that coffee. And it's just fantastic, it really is. I'm gonna make drinks with this. It's gonna knock your socks off, right? If you've lost a few socks in the washer and dry and headache, don't wear any when you watch this because they're coming off. I don't know where the hell they're gonna land. All right, how's this cherry? Oh, by the way, if you use sweeteners of any type, if you use honey, if you use come kind of um, sweetened, uh, you know, coffee mate type stuff, artificial, whatever, it's real. You're gonna be eating a cherry pie. All right, so let's pour in some of this delicious and beautiful, beautiful heavy cream, and give it that vanilla and that thick mouth feel and that sweet taste. No sugar in here, I would keep saying this because I know, you know, it could be new people in here. But because it's made from milk and there's no, um, let me see here, where does it say? Carbs, and this one's one gram, sometimes it's zero. So there's almost no sugar in it whatsoever. But, you know, it, you could taste the, I could taste the sweetness in it. And I love it. Oh, and that just adds that vanilla creamy sweetness, slight sweetness that I love. Now, what goes good with cherries? I think one time I had a delicious thing called chocolate cherry. La da dee dee da dee. Living like a kingdom, all right? Because it's a beautiful, 
beautiful day. I'm under an umbrella. You know how you hear my fish pond uh, playlist. Fish pond, you'll see it. it's beautiful. Right here, I can see the big koi swimming around. I just fed them. All right, I just planted my stuff. It's early spring. You'll see over time as this grows in and fills in how beautiful. I got flowers everywhere. I'm a gardener. I love it. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy today. All right? Today is uh, Sunday. Now look at that. Put a heaping amount in there. And if you're going to use um, like cream, the, the best way to do this, but I like to do it in order for y'all. But if, if, if I wasn't doing a video, I would take the cream and I would put the um, cocoa in it and I would just whip it by hand and it, it becomes thick and it totally gets dispersed in there where there's no chunks or you know chunks of powder. And then I pour the coffee over it and stir it and it's perfect. It really is. But let's try this cherry chocolate coffee with delicious whipping cream. You could put whipped cream on top and this is all day. This is keto. But if you're not worried about keto, and this is a this is a good dessert if you're on keto. But let's say I'm not on keto. Well you might like it anyway. You don't have to be on keto like this. I'm just pointing it out. But add your favorite um, sweetener and you'll be blown away. I'm eating a chocolate covered cherry. It's delicious. I've had a few of the flavored coffees. Um, Mackinac. What was the last one I did? Some butterscotch toffee. I like that one. Um, but this is my favorite so far of the flavored coffees, certainly from Myers. So from Hillbilly Select Reviews, thank you. If you're just stopping by because you were searching cherry coffee or great coffee reviews or whatever, please hit that sub button. Just help me out a little bit. I like to... Uh, you know, I'm competitive and I don't like to talk to myself and I want to see my channel growing and my effort paying off. So all I ask from you, as you know, I will do the rest. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and be looking for these coffee review, these uh, recipes I'm making with this Michigan cherry. I'm telling you, it's going to be unbelievable.